Hello everybody, myself Pavan and you're watching Optimistic Coder and in this video we are going to design this swing application that is tic-tac-toe and which is a really easy application most of the people might think but uh, the tricky part is the winning logic so I will be discussing the winning logic also and also we are going to design it from scratch everything will be designed in this video and also discussed so you will get to know a pretty good thing if you are confused in designing a tic-tac-toe application so you can watch the video till the end and you can get a better idea how to design a tic-tac-toe application it will also help you to understand the logic behind it so watch the video till the end and if you are interested in such kind of content do subscribe and hit that notification bell and let's get started <laughs> So let's first create a project that is tic-tac-toe named. So I'll just go to file new project. Turn Java project and it's tic-tac. Click on finish. And there you go, you get a project. Go on to source and create Go to others Go to swing designers So just write swing Application window Click on next Here you need to give the class name So I will just give Tic Tac And click on finish So that's our program I will just expand this okay so we have the initial program for the frame and that's our frame so I will just increase the size of the frame by 500 by 500 and let's see the design so okay it looks good now in tic-tac-toe we need a bunch of buttons so I will just keep it very simple we will be using buttons here so we need nine buttons so we can just drag and drop it before that i need an absolute layout just drop it down here take a button and i will just place it here increase the size so that's our button there remove the label and i will increase the size also for the font as 99 so that whenever we click on it it should come either zero or cross so we can place the same thing on other side also so we can place the second button Because I have created all the buttons and placed it in the place, let's run the program and see whether it looks proper or not. Okay, so the look is proper. We have nine buttons on frame and now we need that on clicking, it should pop up the label as zero or X before that we need to give variable name the first one is zero zero so that's the variable name that we have mentioned here so it will be very easy to identify each and every button so first i will go with this button and you just need to click and right click go to add event handler and go on to the mouse and mouse click so you will come onto the source section and in that we need to write what changes that we need so when we click on that particular button it should change either 0 or x so let's first do that so we need like btn 00, 0 will become set label for now we just i'm checking so if i click on it a label should come up and you will see it's a uh, a strike over the set label it's just show it duplicated the, nothing nothing to worry about it it will still work just save and we can run the program and if i go and click on this you can see we have the 
zero there. Now, in this case, if I say, when we go and click on one button, if I run the program, you can see here, when I go and click on this button, it comes up zero. And if I go and click on this button, it should come up as X. So for that, we need to check how many times that we have clicked. So if the click is an even number, then that will be a cross. And if the click is an odd number, then that will be a zero. So for that, I will just create a variable up here, int, and I will just write it as clicked and initialize it by zero. And here in mouse click, I will increment the click variable by one and then I will check that whether the clicked variable is divided by two and if I check the reminder and if the reminder is zero then I need to set the label for that button will be zero. So let's set the button label that is btn00 dot set label and in the label you can give it as zero and if that is not the case then we will go with the else part and in the else we will set the label as x so that's the event handling that we are going to do here and if i do here run the program in the first click it shows me an x and in the second click it shows me a zero now the second challenge that we are going to have here is i have actually clicked this button so if i click this button i should not be able to click it or i should not be able to change the label of that so for that we need to make that particular button disable to make it disable just go write btn00 dot set enable as false so that button will be disabled and i will just write it here also and if i run the program you can see the button is disabled but still if i go and click on it it will change the label on top of it so for that we will just make out a check that whether this button is been clicked anytime or not so for that i will just create here a flag and the flag will be of a boolean type boolean and that flag is for button 00 flag and initially the flag is true that is it's not being clicked and if the button is getting false then that value is getting false it has been clicked so for that first we need to go into this and we need to change the btn 00 flag into false so that's made false and then we need to give an if condition and in that if we have to just pass this variable saying that it's false okay so it will not come here actually it will just come in this block so if it has been clicked then it will go in and if it is in here also if i save it and run our program so i will go and click on it and if i click it again it doesn't change so that's the exact thing that we wanted and we need to do the exact same thing for each and every tile that we have so in the click listener for this click listener for this we need to perform the same thing so let's do that and then we can think how we can identify the winning logic Okay, so we have done the same thing for each and every button and we can just check it out whether it works or not. 
so there are our matrix and if i click on it okay so it works exactly the same way as we wanted so that's our game here and now we need to write a winning logic for this particular thing now the winning logic is very simple and everybody knows that if anyone who has returned like x 0 and if x 0 if x if this comes up in the matrix then that particular player is the winner so for that we need to write a simple very easy logic for that and i will just write it down a function for that first which will be a check winner function so let's write the check winner function because i've created a check winner function now inside this we will write some code and the code logic is very easy and thing is if you have a matrix and in that matrix if i write for example if i run the program and if i show you that each and every matrix button has a name right so it's starting with 00 0 0 0 1 0 2 one zero one 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 two two zero two one two two so i first need to check whether this button is clicked or not so if it is clicked then it is fine then i need to check that whether this button value that i am having here is equal to this particular box and is equal to then this particular box value should be equal to this box and if that is the case then i will be the winner okay so that's the whole point so for that first i will be writing to check whether that particular button has been clicked and we already have made some variables which is going to check whether the button has been clicked or not so if it is clicked it will be false so i will be writing here if and the first condition i need to check is whether the button 00, zero location is clicked or not so for that is my flag false or not and if it is false then i need to put an and condition and i need to check some other conditions also and condition and in that i need to mention btn00 dot get text dot equals btn01 value so the value that it that it has should be equal to the next box value so i will write btn dot btn01 dot get text okay so it will go and check whether the btn dot get it will first get text and it will just check whether the btn.01 is also equal or not and if that is also satisfied and if that is also satisfied it will go and check the next condition and that condition will be put an and operator and within the braces i need to check this exact same thing but for 01 and 0 2 so here i will just write 0 1 got text get text should equal to 0 2 and if that is true then it should go and it should execute it should go and say that yes it's like i'll just write the print statement and we will check the winner so it will just print out a message okay so we need to now call this particular function in each and every click listener so we will go on with the first one here we'll go to this particular click listener and after this condition has been checked it will go and check check the winner so that's the function call we are going to make 
and the same thing we need to do with the rest of the click listeners also okay we can save the program and if i run it you can check the first one is cross second one is zero cross zero and cross and here you go you get as winner so that's the winning logic that it is really easy and we need to actually do the same thing for the rest of the winning series also for example now we know that one of the winning series is this one second one is this and third one is this whereas the fourth one is vertically this way and we have diagonally two ways so for all those we just need to write those same code with if else if condition so i will just write here else if and within now before writing that i will just complete it so we can take a string value saying as value and in that i will just get the text that btn0 is going to have get text okay so we will write j option pane dot show message dialog box and here i will just write it null and in the message section we can just print out as value plus in braces is the winner and we can run the program and see whether it works or not so first one is x x and here is x and here we get as the winner click on ok and that's it so that's very easy and i feel that the logic is also very much understandable now we need to repeat the same logic for else if and rest of the blocks also so in the else if okay so at the end i have written a point here i have written one else if condition in which i am going to check whether all the buttons are clicked or not if all the buttons are clicked and yet we don't get any winner then we will be just printing out it as a draw so i will just mention out here remove the value part and i will show here as it is okay so we have done the tic-tac-toe game just run the program and here is x here is zero here is x and here is again zero and here is x and there we go we get the winner as x is a winner and if i run the program again and here we can check for the zero also that whether our zero works or not okay I, I, i'm my bad so here also x wins because it was diagonal so that's our x that's zero that's x that's zero that is x that is zero and that is x and that is zero and here we say zero is the winner okay let's see for the vertical one and the vertical is x 0 x and 0 and x and x is the winner and that's it you have returned the tic-tac-toe code 
in merely just 300 lines of code. So that's all in today's videos guys. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you feel about this particular video. If you are interested in such kind of content, I will be creating these kind of videos very often in this channel. So let me know in the comment section and till then, bye.